Okay, this is a uh, 2014 Toyota Highlander. I have 105,000 miles almost. And last time I changed my transmission fluid, it was around 40 something thousand miles. So it's, uh, it's 60, about 60,000 miles already after my first oil, um, after my first transmission fluid change. So now it will be my second transmission fluid change. Before doing anything, make sure your car is level. So how do I know the car is level? Let me show you the easy way to do it. So you see underneath the car? This way I put my jack stand against. This thing around along here. If you get one of these, and you put it against and then you check it, check the bubbles, it's level. I'm checking on this side and check the other side. So here's the passenger side. And the thing is level right there. Okay, that's the first thing you have to do. So I put just in on the rear and the front. So here's the front of the car to jack up the car in the front. Get get jack. You see that right here? What I'm pointing at, this is where you can jack up the car in the front. And then check the rear. In the rear, see right there. Don't do it on here, but over there. Okay, in order to access the fuel hole for the transmission fluid, you need to remove the driver's side wheel and here you need a 21 mm socket right there so you this is the cover cover up the uh, the hole there to remove these two 10 mm bow. So I'm going to loosen it up. And there's a clip here. You just move it out of the way. And from here. You see the uh, the fuel bowl. I like to put the 10 mm bowl back here, so I won't lose the bowl. This is the fuel hole covered by this 24 mm bowl. Make sure this can be loosened first before you drain any fluid from the bottom. You get one of the 24 mm socket. Now it's loosened. So here at the bottom, you have the uh, drain bowl. It's not a regular bowl. You have to use one of these. It's number six. To loosen it, and 
and the flu is all black. It's all red. So it has 60,000 miles on it. So it's not done yet. Still inside has a little tube. You need to take it out, use the same tool. You turn kind of chloride. It's slippery. It's a red tube. It's going to be messy. Now I'm putting the two back and tighten it. Don't use any wrench. Next is drain plug. Just hand tie it. Well, the condition of the oil is kind of black. So the next thing you do, I'm going to dump it here and measure how much uh, it came out. So this is how much it came out, it's almost 2 quart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add extra, I'm going to put 3 quart in and better have more than less and let it run in the uh, transmissions and let the excess drain out. I have 3 quart here. I'm going to add that into the fuel hole there. So now I'm going to remove the, uh, the bowl that covered the fuel hole. Here's the setup I have. I have a bungee cord holding a funnel, and the funnel go to uh, a tube. A tube go inside the hole, and I'm gonna put three quart in. So I'm putting in three quarts. That's one. Second one. Okay, if we need a new washer. I'm not gonna tighten it, just leave it there. So what I'm gonna do is start the car and shift shift through all the gear R and D make sure that your foot is on the brake okay. I just keep doing that. So let's check the temperature. So I decided to do a second drain since the old fluid was so black. 98, so it's time to unplug it. But since the temperature is over 95 already, it's 98, 99, so I turned the engine off. Now to unplug the, uh, the drain plug. The lot come out. Remember the engine is off.
Okay, let's check how much oil came out. See, this is one, two, three, four, four quart total, minus the two quart I have there. So it's the two quart came out, and I put three quart in. So there's one quart inside. Okay, because I did not uh, have the engine running. So I have extra fluid came out, so I need to add more. So I did the math and it take about another uh, 1.2 quart in order to, to measure it to the exact amount that the drain out. So I'm going to add another 1.2 quart, which is around here. So I'm put 1.2 quart. Again, put the plug back in. So now I'm shooting, shifting through every gear. Put my stick on the brake. One more time. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five. Temperature now is ninety. So the temperature now is ninety six point one. So let it run until one oh four. Then I remove the uh, drain bowl and check the level. It's 101 here. Now it's 104. Time to uh, unplug the drain. Hit. That's it. It trips on. And that's it. Check the temperature. It's 105. So that's how much came out. Around 2 ounces. After that. So it's, the math is correct. Make sure to put a new washer on it. And check for oil leak. Okay, the book said 30 foot pound or tour. I just put 26 to tighten the drain bowl. I put 26 foot pound or tour. The field bowl is 36 foot pound or tour. I just put 30. Not a big deal, it's just a field bowl. It's nice tight. All right. Okay, put the shield back. I'm glad I have these two. I don't have a look for it. Don't need to be too tight. It's plastic. And put the wheel back. Test drive and see how it goes. It's 76 foot pound torque. Let's drive it, see if everything works. Everything works, it should be pretty good. It works. Thanks for watching.